Hi, my name is Atif. I have a brand called Vintage Teapot Queen. I was born and brought up in Dubai. I do fashion and style. I used to design gowns before. And it was only for a close number of friends and some family members. Um, I never took it very seriously. It's only when I started this brand, I started taking things very seriously. I had a t-shirt collection and I had done some illustrations. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but basically they're conversation starters. I'm inspired by a lot of eras and most of it is uh, from the 1900s or the 1300s up to 14, 1500s. It's always either Victorian or medieval. That's my kind of style. And if I would like to remain current, it would have different unknown brands. I would wear different unknown brands. Like I wouldn't want to be like everyone else. 2007, I created my first collection. And yeah, it was I say from, from that time, I started designing. My earliest work was uh, when I started putting my designs on t-shirts. I'd say that's my first collection. The mood that you get when you wear one of my t-shirts, it's always bright, quirky illustrations, okay? Very stylish, very odd to look at. They're, they sound funny. You know, there's, there's always a little bit of uh, humor. It's just very eccentric and a lot of um, headless bodies with um, a lot of legs. My favorite fashion designer, I have, I have a lot. Um, one of them is Coco Chanel, of course. She's incredible how um, she abolished the corset concept and thought women should be free. You know, I mean, she just, created freedom in fashion and I and I love that about her she was bold at a time where that didn't even exist uh, Gianni Versace John Galliano Karl Lagerfeld as well oh I also have uh, Yoji Yamamoto Rei Kawakubo I don't really know where my inspiration comes from like I it's it's always either in the past or whatever I am inspired by currently so if you get that feel like if if it reminds you of Alice in Wonderland I do love Alice in Wonderland I mean that's my favorite film the Mad Hatter is my favorite character okay um, but it's a mix of everything it's a mix of it's a blend of, of everything that you can imagine I go to a location that I'm very familiar with and uh, this one is soup night this is my favorite place. Everything is just incongruously placed. Every store, okay, is just odd and that's what I like about it. How I go about my day, I visit the stores, um, see what they have, feel the fabrics like I usually do, and think about the designs go back and buy it. That's, that's the only thing I do. Well, I created a kaftan recently and uh, it's a mix of um, black and white print, for example, one side is stripes and the other side is checkers. Uh, it's a checkered fabric. And in the middle, I've added gold buttons. I believe in creating a few pieces, a few great pieces, and move on to the next project. I hope my new collection, it'll be received well. I created this a few days ago. Uh, I was inspired by the medieval times, again. 
and I just wanted something that had very it had an odd shape to the female form some ruching on the sides of the pockets and it's an open type of abaya I've been told that I look like a witch when I wear this so <laughs> so the events that I have participated one of them the first one was fashion forward it was in 2014 and uh, it was a great experience for me because I'm such an introvert I had a stall uh, and I had to present my t-shirts for the first time so meeting people was completely new to me but my favorite favorite event to participate in was comic-con and uh, I, don't know, I just felt like it was full of people that could relate to my personality and I felt like I belonged into this kingdom of weirdom I feel like fashion has exploded <laughs> You know why? Because ever since Alessandro Michel um, started working in uh, Gucci in 2015, I feel like anyone, any, anything, anything goes. You know, you can wear sequins in the day. It's not necessarily that you can wear them at night anymore. You can, it's like, don't throw away your grandmother's sweaters. You can actually wear them now. You know, I mean, it's, it's like any piece of garment that you thought would not relate today, it, it does, you know, it, it can. I, I actually like it, today's fashion. There's no direction and I like it. It's that, that's what it's supposed to be. You know, not everyone looking the same way all the time. I feel like it gives more choices to people to choose from. I feel so upset when I see so much potential in a designer. And, you know, she, she has her own direction. She has her own um, creative process, okay? She, she knows what she wants to do, but then gets sidetracked because of these negative distractions that she, you know, she gets involved in. I mean, she hears from her family or her friends or someone, you know, and, and then she produces what they expect of her. Don't listen to anyone, just do it. I know it, the, Nike said it, like, just do it. it. It does, it's very provocative, that statement. It's true, it should resonate with every creative. 